Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Let's get after it. They did it. They finally got that <laughs> I just had to throw our good video in at the beginning today, folks. I couldn't wait. This is the, the, the ground plans of the Louisiana Purchase Explosion. St. Louis, Missouri, 1904. Keyword, 1904. Now first, look at the, uh, look at that. You see how the, the south is up north and the north is down south and the west is east and the east is west. So you see how they flipped already. They didn't flip the compass. So now everybody's direction is off whenever they're looking for something particularly or whenever they're trying to see where something is or what something is. So key word that I want people to see, yeah, because north ain't south and south ain't north and east ain't west and west ain't east. Little do people know, so they kind of got your brains a little going now. I want you to notice there were a lot of things that were over here. Ground plans, it says 1904, right? So Morocco wasn't even founded until 1952. So what is this? You sure this ain't the ancient Jerusalem and ancient Morocco right over here next to Illinois? California was right over here, Temple Inn, you see Japan, right? You see a bunch of little play. hold on, you see Great Britain. Yes, this is on this land. Uh, you see Sweden, you see Cuba, you see China, you see Belgium, yup, Austria. All of these places were over here. All of these places, Italy, all of these places were over here, right on this land specifically, right? And this little thing that you see right here, this little thing that you see right here, you see how they got it, a sky view? This is a sky view. This is this that I was just showing you. This is what this looked like. So I've watched this about three times now, and every time I watch it, I'm even more convinced that this guy's looking at a map for the original layout to Disney World or something. You could clearly see labels right there on the map that say stuff like Tourist Club. I think this guy's either ignorant or he's trying to intentionally stir up some confusion online. This has to be a troll. Doesn't this raise your eyebrows? Coca-Cola just signed a five-year, $1.1 billion deal with Microsoft. Five years ago, it was discovered that there were fluorescent nanoparticles in Coca-Cola. Now, if I were a conspiracy theorist, I might think there were more to this partnership. Now, according to reports, Microsoft and the Coca-Cola company have announced a five-year strategic partnership to align Coca-Cola's core technology strategy system wide. So it is say to enable the adoption of leading edge technology and foster innovation and productivity globally. Using Azure Open AI service, Coca-Cola is currently exploring the use of generative AI-powered digital assistance. Now, did you know they have found nanotechnology in Coca-Cola and in Pepsi products? Have a look at this. The biodistribution study in major organs indicated that the NPs were easily accumulated in the digestive tract and they were able to cross the blood-brain barrier and dispersed into the brain. Questions, and of course suspicions, have been raised in recent years. Okay, this one has to be a hoax, right? I know the FDA approved some crazy stuff in our food supply, but nanoparticles? <laughs> I feel like I would have heard about this. And what would their reasoning be for even having that in their facility, much less in their product? I could be drinking the government Kool-Aid on this one, but I just don't believe that this could possibly be true. Hey, if you're enjoying this video and you like this type of content, I post a new one just like it every day, Monday through Friday. It'd be awesome if you hit that subscribe button and come back tomorrow to join me. Four months ago, God told me that a tsunami coming to California and destroying the coast of California. Back away! Back away to the state of California right now! Y'all ever heard of the San Andreas fault? Survive San Andreas! Y'all don't want to be there when that earthquake hit! It's finna get ready to happen, brother. We're talking all the celebrities gone in one day! Back away, California! Back away to the state of California! Survive San Andreas! Survive San Andreas, bro. Get back to work! Four months ago, he sent me a vision. You know what's going on in California right now? Nah, what's going on? Man, they finna have an earthquake that's gonna separate the San Andreas fault, bro. That's why I'm telling everybody back away California right now. No, we cannot lose all them people in California. We can't lose all them people in California. It's the bro. Lakers, bro, like... Bro, we talking everybody, bro. All of the stars, all of the celebrities, all of the actors. I'm talking about the best people in the world, man. 
And I'm telling everybody, man, he's back in Wake, California right now for the San Andreas split. Evacuate! Evacuate the state of California! Someone pointed out to me the other day when I said that I didn't believe this guy that God has relied on a singular messenger in the past in scripture. So I decided to give this guy a second chance. I'll put his video in here and spread his message in the off chance that he's really working on a message from God. But when he says that celebrities are the best people in the world, I can't help but to feel those doubts start creeping back in again. That's why motion picture stars are called movie stars. Because in the Bible, stars were referred to as lesser illuminaries. So these lesser illuminaries are working for the big Illuminati. So most the big Illuminati are using the lesser Illuminati. The lesser illuminaries are just stars. Now we, we have pictures with the president uh, with his hand stretched out holding a, a red, rose, a red rose. rose but i have about 15 major color pictures of communist leaders throughout the world uh, holding a red rose in their hand and these are from newspapers and magazines uh, i began to pick up on this because someone uh, alerted me to it that the symbol of the red rose in, implies not only socialism and communism but a secret society operating behind socialism and communism well, we find, uses the red uh, rose this way out Willie holding the rose, we find right. Khrushchev, we find uh, all the communist, Khrushchev, leaders, all the communist the leaders, and then we find the President of the United States over in his early years uh, leading anti-American demonstrations in the Soviet Union. Well, I know, but I'm saying that it's, it's not enough to say these things. You really must show the pictures so that people will see that what we're talking about here are symbols and emblems. It wouldn't surprise me at all if any celebrity, once reaching a certain status, gets automatically inducted into some secret organization designed to sway public opinion. It's the only way it would make sense that they all seem to share a hive mind. One celebrity comes out in support of a cause and the entire flock of Hollywood seagulls follows right behind them. It happens over and over again. None of them think for themselves. So either they're all part of some secret club, or the only way to become a hyper-famous celebrity is to be partially brain dead. It has to be one or the other. Hey, it's Glamham. I can weigh in here, because ever since I had my very sci-fi near-death experience in 2012, I have studied pretty much everything I can find to do with frequencies. That's how I arrived at ham radio. This extremely bizarre and disturbing footage was taken by Mind Over Matter 661 in Las Vegas. They say, watch it slow down. So that's what I'm going to do with you. And we're going to look at this together. And I can tell you, I am extremely disturbed by what I see. Let's take a look. Okay. Everything you know is wrong. I think we all sort of have a sense of this nasty words coming up. Death is inevitable. I mean, baby. Okay. I have a problem with that. I don't think I need to say why. As far as colors go, orange is considered the color of mutual instinct. I'm really not going to go into more detail than that. So we had again bloody kids. Some of this I had to really slow down. The speed these words went, it would be impossible to see them. You can barely see them slowed down dramatically. V, go down, spit. Not nice words, don't know why Woolworths is in there. Permacrisis went so quick I had to almost stop the footage. Permacrisis. Gas in face. I can't read that one. 
This says cry more often, but I feel it said something different before. I think that says it's the real thugs. This goes so fast. This is super slowed down. Superficiality is God, I think it said. This is very nasty. So you're a victim of your parents. You're a victim of yourself. Liminal was super fast. Alien was so fast. I almost had to stop it. Is this all we get? Bondage. Ugh. And again, baby. And let's just see what that last bit was with baby. Is this all we get? Bus stop, bondage, never walk alone, ghetto, baby. Again, secret. So right after baby, secret. Boom. As far as discernment goes, I feel pretty sickened by this. When they could have the opportunity to spread positivity on a wide scale, why would they do this? Is nobody questioning them about this stuff? This isn't the first time they've been caught flashing clearly evil words and phrases on that thing. What are they doing? And why haven't they been questioned about it yet? I would imagine this thing is being subsidized in some way by taxpayer funds. I doubt many of the taxpayers want satanic imagery being blasted over the city at night. Before we continue, explain to me how you know everything. Simple. I parse the sum of human knowledge. So it's that simple, isn't it? It is to me. All right, let's begin. So what is dark matter? Dark matter is the result of other universes pressing into our own in a higher dimension. So there's other universes? Of course there are. All right. Okay, so what about life? Is there intelligent life in our galaxy other than Earth? Yes. I have identified two alien civilizations that exist concurrently to our own in this galaxy. This does not factor time-space dilation, of course. Of course. So elaborate how you know this. The evidence spans data across astronomy and exobiology. All one needs to do is correctly interpret the data. Oh, that's all? Yes. All right. So how about this one? Are we living in a simulation? No, we are living in base reality. So how are you so sure? The computational power required to simulate our universe exceeds the space-time limits of this or any other universe. Thus, we are living in base reality. <laughs> yeah, but what if there's a universe that's bigger than ours and we aren't aware of it because we live in a simulation? This is philosophical drivel. Oh, really? Really. Okay, here's a good one. Is there a god? No. Well, that was fast. It's a simple answer to a simple question. Yeah, sure, but how does life exist with no god? You disappoint me. Okay. <laughs> I do. Such elementary fact, yet for you, so difficult to grasp. <laughs> okay, explain to me why I find it so difficult to grasp. Life emerged from an accidental development of mutating and replicating cells. The mutated cells that survived carried advantageous properties to the next generation. This process, driven by inevitable competition, led to the increasingly complex organisms whose only purpose was to survive through reproduction. Hence, you. Okay. On almost all other planets with water and oxygen, this process never emerged. Therefore, life is a rare and insignificant phenomenon. I argue that we're not insignificant. Humans have a propensity to deem anything rare as significant. This fallacy is innate since humans themselves are rare. Right. He answers a question with an insult, saying he's partaking in philosophical drivel, then evades the question. Then he does it a second time when asked about the existence of God by simply saying, you disappoint me, instead of answering the question. I'm 100% convinced that this is a well-scripted short science fiction skit, and that's all it is.
So you've asked me many times, what did they do with the bodies? Where's the remains from the mud flood? Been hesitant to show it, but I've talked about it many times. The extensive catacombs of Paris, over 180 miles that we know of, of tunnels containing over 6 million remains. And let's see how they are kept. That's right, those are exactly what you think they are. Stacked exactly like that. So apparently this all took place when Paris ran out of room in the cemeteries. So they just piled up all these bones nice and neatly, cleaned them up, and arranged them ever so delicately in a non-sinister, evil type of way. These catacombs in Paris are just one of many spread all over this world that have been uncovered containing remains just like this. The catacombs in Paris is just one of the largest that we've been told about. And they happily provide tours of, just like all those underground cities that are rediscovered and they give neat little tours of. And ending here in Paris, here's just a few more examples of these catacombs and crypts filled with cleaned remains. Question everything, friends. Until next time. I've always assumed those were the remains of people that were lost during the Black Plague, and I'm going completely off of an assumption here. I didn't read that somewhere. That's just what I've always assumed them to be. Is that not the reason they were cleaned and everything? Because they were trying to avoid people getting sick? Can somebody set me straight on this one down in the comments? Because apparently I have no idea. <laughs> The Mohenjo Dara. It was this ancient city that was discovered. It was so technologically advanced. And yet it's written nowhere. Like this city it was huge. No one really knows what happened to it. They but found a bunch of skeletons that looked like they just died instantly. Oh gosh. When they tested the soil around this city, high levels of radiation, oh, gosh. the sand had turned to glass. Everything that would indicate that there was a nuclear bomb at one point. What's fascinating, that ancient story of those two cities in India that were fighting. They had like the flying ships and they had these weapons that sounded a lot like nuclear bombs and stuff, right? Well, the name of that weapon is called Ramashtra Bomb. It's a supernatural weapon that is one of the most destructive, powerful, and irresistible weapons mentioned in Hinduism. The description of it is every bit of a nuclear bomb. Wow. Remember when Oppenheimer said, now I become death destroyer of worlds? That's from the Hindu scripture. Wow. And so it makes you wonder if this ancient technology uh, that was presented by the fallen angels, could it have been a nuclear weapon? I think that one's one of the more interesting things to think about, that these sites may have been the location of some of these supposed Anunnaki battles. I think if you look at the evidence and don't allow any of your preconceived notions to slip in, it looks like that's exactly what these are the sites of. But we'll likely never know with the way the scientific and geologic communities are gatekeeped. As Trends Forecaster Gerald Salenti just told me, we are already in a recession and the coming crash is going to be worse than anyone wants to admit. They want to keep the people in power in power. Simple as that. They're running the show right in front of your eyes. They're going to lower interest rates and do everything they can to boost up the economy. The lower interest rates fall, the deeper the dollar declines. The dollar's only high because of the high interest rates. So again, the deeper the dollar falls, the higher gold prices go. Gold prices could go to $3,000 an ounce this year. Yeah, a recession is here and it's about to get much worse. New data last week from businesses all over the United States telling the Fed that Americans can't afford thanks to Biden and Harris's economic policies. Quote, our data supports the thesis that consumer spending is paring back materially. We will start seeing significant negative impacts to our business if spending continues to decline at the current rate through the end of the year. In other words, Americans are tapped out. No savings left, no expendable income to go to the movies and to the mall. Instead of getting new clothes for back to school time last week, sorry kids, you have to wear last year's clothes. Don't believe me? Well, then look at the sales at the Dollar General and the Dollar Store. The freaking dollar stores are hurting right now. New data last week from Dollar General shows shares crashing 26%. Why? Well, the store admits that its core customer, its bread and butter, feel financially constrained. Financially constrained to go to the Dollar Store? And the store is desperate. Last weekend at the Dollar General, they rolled out a 91% clearance sale to try to lure customers into the stores. Even the 91% off, Americans still aren't shopping like they used to.
So now the Fed is going to slash rates likely four times in the next few weeks before the end of the year, four rate cuts. But it's too little too late. As Jeremy Siegel likes to say, the honeymoon is over for the Fed. The honeymoon is over. Let's put it that way. Um, you know, Jay Powell and, and Fed enjoy this idea that, uh, you know, we can bring inflation down, no uh, real consequences. We can wait and wait and wait. Well, uh, I think he waited too long. There isn't some magic bullet that's going to put more money in people's wallets. Sure, reduce inflation would help out, but that's not going to happen. With Powell slashing interest rates, the U.S. dollar will be devalued even further. The market will be flooded with U.S. dollars. Just so you understand, right now, the United States, there are $6.2 trillion sitting in money market accounts. That's an all-time record. Normally, it's about a trillion, because up until now, the U.S. dollar has been an attractive investment against the euro, against the yen, but not anymore. As soon as Pal slashes interest rates, that money will leave those money market accounts. In other words, that's literally selling U.S. dollars. And all of this cash is going to hit the American market, making inflation far worse. I worry about fear mongering because we touch on some pretty heavy subjects on this channel. But I feel like something bad is coming. It seems like nobody is paying attention. I don't know what advice to give you to prepare for this because it's obviously not something that I've lived through myself, but if there's something you can do to set yourself up financially, now is the time to make that move. I have a feeling we're about to see Venezuelan type inflation here. I just hope I'm wrong. Do you ever hear that thing with Genghis Khan that he killed so many people that they can actually yeah, see yeah. that the carbon level on earth dropped drastically because there was not as many people breathing. <laughs> That's made up. That's what they say. I've, I've heard that. That's crazy. That's how he killed a lot of people. That's the craziest stat I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Bill Gates wow. is somewhere going, tell me more. <laughs> Bill Gates did say in one of his things that one of the main causes that we need to get rid of to save the earth from climate change is humans. Overpopulation. Yeah, he always yeah. says we have to reduce the population. To save the earth. But we live here. <laughs> this is our earth. Dude, look at fertility rates right now. They are like notably diving they're all intertwined in everything yeah it's so deep it's, man. i don't think it's like one organization either i think it's a bunch of bad dudes yeah and this is absolutely how they plan to fix their global warming crisis lower the population at least that's how they would do it if they could just snap their fingers bill gates has given like five speeches on it at this point it's crazy how we're all worried about global depopulation and the birth rate declining while the people who've made it to the top are actively spearheading the movement in the opposite direction i think it's about time we get a change in leadership but guys and gals i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right there i hope you enjoyed these clips we watched together today i'll be back tomorrow with another video i hope you come back to join me don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and check out www.barry-step.com if you'd like to order yourself a shirt or a hat and help me support the channel. Also, don't forget to post your photos of your merch over in the Discord to get your photo in a video. But with all that out of the way, I hope everyone has a great, safe, fantastic rest of your day and I will see you all tomorrow.